Hello, I'm Sam, and welcome to another edition of Off The Shelf. I hope you're doing okay. I'm doing fine today. Before we have a look to see what I've got on my shelf today, shall we light our candle? So the Lord be with you and also with you. Shall we have a look to see what I can find on my shelf? Come on. Look what I found on my shelf today. To be honest, I'd forgotten I'd got this on my shelf. Do you know what it is? I think some of you might be able to play this. It's a musical instrument called a recorder. And this has been on my shelf a long time because I learned to play a recorder when I was in primary school. Shall we see if I can still play it? Here goes. Ooh, that was a nice tune, wasn't it? What about this one? That's another one. Still, so if I can remember another one, I think I can remember one more. You might recognise one of those. You might have learned to play that. Now, I'm going to ask you a question about those tunes. Which one was the right tune? You might just want to have a think about that, or a chat to your grown-up. Which one was the right tune? Hmm. I wonder if you're thinking, that's a very silly question, Sam. Because it is a silly question, because there is no right tune, is there? When the person invented the recorder, they didn't invent the recorder just to be able to play one tune. They invented the recorder to play lots of tunes. I might say to you, which is your favourite tune? And you might be able to answer that. But there's no such thing as a right tune and a wrong tune. Me a little bit of all the children in your school because they're all different, but none of them are right and none of them are wrong. So you might be like this tune. There'll be children like that tune that are fast and they're running around and they're all doing all sorts of things all the time. And there'll be other children like this tune. They just prefer something a little bit quieter and a little bit more thoughtful. And then there'll be other children like the third tune that goes something like this. And the reason I like that last tune is that it's even better when you play it lots of people at the same time because other people can join in at different times and it makes a lovely sound. So there might be children that actually prefer to do things with other children. They've always got lots of friends around them. They're always into each other and seeing what each other are up to. There are all sorts of different children. But none of them are wrong. They're just different. And God made us all differently. Now, this reminded me 
of a story in the Bible that Jesus told. And it was about the disciples. Because Jesus was sitting there and the children wanted to come and see Jesus. And the disciples shooed them away and told them that Jesus didn't want to see them. But Jesus said this. He said, let the children alone. Don't prevent them from coming to me. God's kingdom is made up of people like these. And then he laid hands on the children and left. So the disciples were thinking, oh, there's some wrong types here. There's some wrong types of people that Jesus doesn't want to see. But Jesus was saying, there is no wrong types. There's all sorts of different kinds of right people. So as you think today about your friends and all those other children in your class, just think about how different they all are, but how they're all right in their own ways. Some might be quiet, some might be fast, some might be loud, some might be friendly, others might just prefer their own company. God made all sorts of people and he made them to make this world a really rich and wonderful and a joyful place. It would be boring if we could only play one tune on our recorder, wouldn't it? So let's pray today. Let's pray for all the children in our class, all the children that we sit with, all the children at the other side of the classroom, all the children we play with at playtime, and those that we don't really say much to. And we thank God that he made them all individual, that he made them all different, but together we're one big family that Jesus loves and Jesus calls to him. I hope you have a good day today, and I hope the sun shines, and I hope you manage to get outside at least for a little bit. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.